Snow by the Red Hot Chili Peppers, as most of you probably know if you're watching this video. Um, it's a pretty pretty good song for uh, uh, working out your both your hands because you, it's really fast. Um, but as far as the difficulty for the whole song, I would say it's somewhere between intermediate and hard um, because there's no solos or anything. So once you get this um, tricky little riff that they play throughout most of the song down you'll um, be pretty much set. So um, I'm going to teach you how to play that first uh, riff that I just played in this tutorial and then in the next tutorial that I'll have up sometime soon. Um, I'll put a link in the description uh, to the other part of it when I get it up. Um, I'll play the chorus and the bridge. So for today I'm just going to show you that part. Um, uh, the main thing before you get started uh, with the picking pattern is get these chords down because you gotta learn how to switch um, really fast while you're playing so having these chords down first is a uh, priority so here's the first chord um, put your middle finger on the 6th fret of the A string and your ring finger on the 6th fret of the D string and then this pointer finger up here um, on the 4th fret of the G string so and this is what it sounds like when you just play these three strings The next chord shape is um, this right here. Leave your pointer finger in the same spot, and then your uh, middle finger is on the sixth fret of the D string, and your ring finger is on the seventh fret. So it goes from this to this. The seventh fret of the A string right here. And this is what it sounds like. And then for the next one, um, you just move this formation up one string so it goes from here so it goes E seventh um, A six and uh, D fourth so and then the last last chord um, in this before it starts over again is all the way down here at the ninth fret of the A string eighth fret of the D string and sixth fret of the G string and this is what it sounds like so going over those chords again, this is the first one, second one, third one, and then last one. So you gotta make sure you can uh, switch, switch between those quickly. Um, what I what I did when I first started out was uh, just kind of do a little strumming pattern along with the song, like. it doesn't sound as uh, good as when you're doing the picking but it'll help you uh, get down the switches very easily. Um, the second time through on this um, it's basically the same. You start out on this chord, switch to this chord, slide it up a string and then instead of going down here to the ninth fret right here you go to this. Um, the ring finger on the sixth fret of the E string and then bar these two strings right here um, the fourth fourth fret of the A and D strings, and this is what it sounds like. So the first time through, it sounds like this. And the second time through, it sounds like this. And um, once you get these chords down, um, we're gonna work on the the picking. This is a uh, by far the hardest part of the song, the hardest part to get down. I spent a lot of time um, practicing to get as fast as I am and I'm still, I wouldn't consider myself uh, really great at playing the song, but I just wanted to share what I've come across and help you learn it too. So, okay, now that you've learned the chord uh, changes, uh, it's time to show you the picking pattern. Uh, it's kind of tough, so I'll zoom up on it and do it really slowly. I'm just going to start out on the first chord, uh, just for sound purposes, but Mainly, I want you to focus on what I'm doing with my hand. Um, the best way to play this song is to become very efficient with your picking, so you don't want to like pull your hand off the string after you pick uh, each time. You just kind of want to let it glide, just relax a little bit and let it glide across the strings and uh, try to waste as little energy as possible playing and you'll get faster 
um, as you go on. So uh, here it is, right here, the picking pattern. I'm going to play it slowly. As you'll notice, um, what I'm doing right here is just letting it go down the strings without like plucking individually like that. Just let it go. And then when I get to that next part, I just stay in between these two strings right here. Put the pick in between these two strings, uh, the D and the G strings. And when you pick, um, towards the end of that pattern, when you pick, don't go down across the string. Stay inside these two strings. So just pick and stay inside. Otherwise, you'll have to come back across the string and you'll be wasting time and energy. So uh, here it is again. See how I'm staying inside these two strings? That's uh, really important for saving time and getting it to be as fast as um, they play it. So here, yeah, I'm going to speed it up a little bit. And that's a, this picking pattern is used for all of the chords that we do uh, leading up to the bridge and the chorus. So once you get this down, uh, you're going to find it really easy to play the next chord. So just work on that picking pattern for a while. Uh, don't rush it because you'll develop bad habits and then it'll be a lot harder to break them later when you're trying to go faster. So uh, I would really recommend just taking your time and getting the picking pattern down perfectly and finding out where you can uh, uh, save time. And then start picking it up, picking the speed up. So work on form first, speed later. Um, so now that you know the picking pattern, I'm going to show you what to do up here while you're uh, playing the chords. So here's I'm going to be picking down here and I'm going to show you what to do right here. Um, for this first chord, um, you hammer down with the pinky on the G string on the 6th fret. So it starts out on the 4th fret of the G string and you hammer onto the 6th. So it goes. Um, I kind of like really nail nail on it hard just to give it a little emphasis because I think that's how they play in the song. Or it sounds good to me anyway. So um, again, here it is. And then you switch chords. And um, some people for this one it has a hammer on too, but for some people they like to bring this pinky over here and hammer down on the. Uh, sixth fret, but what I do is take this finger off and hammer on because you're not going to use this first string um, at the same time you're doing this hammer on, so you can afford to bring this finger over and hammer on, and that's the way I prefer to play it. So I'm going to show you both ways, and you can decide which way is best for you. So, and then here's with the pinky. Um, then the next chord, you move over and you do the exact same thing. And then down here you do the exact same thing. And then you start over. And um, that's pretty much it for the song. Uh, it's not really too difficult, you just gotta uh, get the speed down, which is the main part of the song is the speed. So. Uh, like I said before, practice slowly and work your way up, otherwise you'll develop bad habits and you'll find it a lot harder to play than if you were just starting out with a clean slate. So, uh, good luck playing this song. I'll, hopefully I'll have that other lesson up soon and I hope to get a bass uh, lesson up soon because I just got a bass guitar not too long ago and I've been messing around with this song. So, um, that's something for you to look forward to, I guess.